So the Crimes of Grindelwald came out this weekend, and to celebrate, I thought I'd make a wand. But as a twist, I thought I'd make it out of driftwood. I don't think I've seen that before. But in order to make something out of driftwood, I need to get some driftwood. And where do you find driftwood? At the beach. Woo! And there we go. Found some driftwood. So I started by sawing the driftwood I collected down to size. I then took it to the bandsaw to get it down to its final size and take off those annoying little nubby bits. I then turned down the piece of driftwood to a more manageable wandy shape thing. And then I moved on to the more detailed shaping. I wanted to keep as much of the outer layer of wood as possible, so it would maintain its driftwoody look. So I drew the shape of the blade of the wand as a curve, so it would incorporate the different parts of the outer layer. and then took it to the bandsaw to take off the end, which of course went by with uh, with no surprises at all. Except that one. And then I cut down the blade of the wand to the shape I had drawn earlier. Blade of the wand? Is it called the blade? Comment below what you think the, the end bit of a wand is called. I'm going to stick with blade. So then I took it to the bobbin sander, take away some of those roughly band sawn edges. The bobbin sander gave the wand a very bumpy look, which looked quite natural. I had considered smoothing this out, but I thought it fit the driftwood style very well. So after this, I started at it with some chisels to give some finer details, some grooves, some little blemishes. Just stuff to make it look nice and weathered. As if it's belonged to a pirate wizard who's been going on adventures at sea, getting at all different types of marine adventures. You get a very weathered wand after that, I feel. I like to think that our uh, pirate owner of this wand will have been so careless on his missions that he'll have snapped it in half a few times, so it will by necessity have to be bound up with string, or magic rope more likely. I thought this gave it an even more of a weathered look. So once it had been finished with Danish oil, I think it was about done. I didn't want to make it too polished, as we've discussed earlier, this wand has had a hard life. But I'm pretty impressed with it. It's retained a lot of its outer driftwoody look, and it's gained some new battered and bruised features along the way. I think uh, if I was a pirate, I'd definitely use it. But now it's time to see if it works. Well, what do you know? It works like a charm. <laughs> oh, that's a bad joke. Well, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, a subscribe, watch some other videos. Most importantly, just have a lovely day. See you all next time. Bye.
Crimes of Grindelwald was a bit rubbish, wasn't it?